Hi there, it's Craig here. Well, I have a question for you. If a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it, does it still make a sound? Well, the answer to this question may surprise you. Um, the answer is no, and right off the bat, we've got a whole bunch of people typing into the comment section saying, you're wrong. Look, okay, let's talk about it for a minute and you'll see what I mean. Okay, let's talk about what sound is. There's a lot of definitions of sound online. Most of them refer to the sound being the sensation caused by the vibration of a medium. The medium can be air or other gases. It can be water or it can be a solid. Okay, When these things vibrate at certain frequencies or within a certain frequency range, our ears, the organs of hearing, detect the vibrations and we perceive those vibrations as sound. Now just because there's a vibration in the air doesn't mean there's a sound and that's where you have to separate the two. Okay, So if I do this with my hand, I hear nothing and neither do you. But I'm doing the exact same thing as a loudspeaker does when it vibrates, except that you can hear. So sound is not defined as the actual uh, phenomenon of vibrating air. Sound is defined by the act of hearing and perceiving that vibrating air and perceiving it as sound. So the sound part happens in your head, not in, in the universe. You understand? So, you know, in order to have sound, you have to have two things. You have to have the vibration of air or what other, whatever other medium you're using. And you have to have an observer, somebody who can detect those vibrations and hear them. That's when it becomes sound. Okay? Uh, so, now, and this is, of course, subject to the observer um, such that if I do this with my hand, I can't hear that. But let's say there was a, I don't know, a bat or something in the room, something with really awesome hearing. Maybe this produces enough vibrations at, this, at the right frequency that that bat would be able to hear this happen. And in that case, for the bat, there would be sound. So it's, it's subject to the observer. In other words, if I can't hear it, then for me, there's no sound. There's the vibration, there's the phenomenon that causes sound, but there is no sound unless you can hear it. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. So if, if, a tree, you know, if a tree falls in the forest, there's nobody there to hear it. By nobody, we mean no living organism that can t take that vibration of air caused by the falling tree and perceive it. So if, if I blow a dog whistle, I can't hear it. And if there's no dogs in the area, then there's no sound. That's all there is to it. Because the sound is in here. It happens inside the brain. Just try to, you have to differenti differentiate between the phenomenon that causes the sound and the sound itself. So the phenomenon being the vibrating medium and the sound being the perception of that vibration. And if there's no perception, then you only have the vibration of the medium. You don't have the sound. And that's, I don't think I could put it any simpler. Now, somebody might argue, well, what if you put, like, a tape recorder in the forest and let it run and let it record and then leave and a tree falls and if it doesn't make any sound, then how come that tape recorder picks up the sound? How come it records that sound of that tree falling? Well, here's the thing. The air vibrates. It moves the diaphragm inside the microphone. It's that vibration, and there's a little electromagnet in there that convert, converts those vibrations into electrical signals, which go down the wire into the tape recorder through an amplifier. It gets converted into magnetism, and it gets recorded on the tape. 
or in the case of like an MP3 recorder, like a you know an iPod or something that records audio, it gets converted into electrical signals and it gets stored as electrical signals or as magnetism. In the case of a tape or a hard drive or something like that, it still isn't sound. Okay, the sound part doesn't happen until you play it back and you perceive that. That playback causes a speaker to vibrate, which vibrates the air, which vibrates your eardrum. Then your brain says, perceives it as sound. So there's, there's no way that you can have sound. doesn't matter if you record it. You put a tape recorder in the forest and you leave and you come back. See, there was sound. Well, no, there wasn't. There was a phenomenon that caused a fluctuation of, of electrical signals, which were recorded. But that doesn't mean it's sound. That's all. It's, it's simple. It's very, very simple, indeed. So the answer to the question is no. <laughs> so something you might not have expected. That's it. That's a short one. Um, haven't got anything else to say. Thanks for listening. Comment, rate, subscribe. Apparently you're supposed to say that at the end of every video you make. That's what everyone else does. <laughs> Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.